Maybe. Hey. Hi. Hey. 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 Howdy. Hey. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been here with my sis. Me too. Wait, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh my gosh. Not her. <laughs> it does make sense. Hello, everybody. My name is Margaret. Welcome to my channel. Do you know who I am? Hang on. I'm moving my thing around. You would think this was my first video at my inability to make a video <laughs> well we've had a long day but it's good, yes yeah. hi let's try do over <laughs> okay <laughs> do over okay hey everybody it's margaret welcome to my channel take scout treasures let me introduce you to my sister elaine Ding! Uh, and we are here to talk about sugar bees and hang out and just be like hey y'all it's been a while it's been a while it's been a while Yes. Yes. Hi, Joni. <laughs> yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. Joni. MT Picker. Hey, MT Picker. Hey, Carol and Suhail. Hope I said your name right. Um, and there goes the cat. So pancake. Oh my way. gosh! Look at look who's there, Julia. Hi. Hey, Julia, my friend. Um, and Catherine. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. She's gonna. <laughs> P.S. She's crashing the party. <laughs> Anywho's. I know my sister is back. Thank God. Oh my gosh, my sister. And we live closer, so we're gonna make arrangements. I come visit more often. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anywho's, um, Elaine has a friend. If you guys don't know this about Elaine by now, you might know this, you might not. But she keeps bees, and she is the, she's like the the lady who started the Texas Hill Country Beekeepers Association. Okay, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. accurate. Yeah, she um, likes to get stuck with bees stung too she gets stung yeah all right okay so <laughs> we're doing a review on shuggy bees Shuggy bees What's that? her name is sherry hearn and i met her several years ago at a farmer's market in kerrville and she was selling all of her goodies that she made from the products of her hives and this is all natural stuff made i mean yeah you can say anything's natural but really literally this is like natural beeswax honey comb you know she does her own um raising of her bees she has her own apiary she's at a pipe creek texas that's probably about a good hour south of kerrville and she did some generous items to my sister and we do have a giveaway too and we're just going to go through and kind of fiddle with it and see what y'all think and yeah and we have a giveaway yeah. too so mm -hmm. yes yeah so if sherry chimes in and y'all have Short questions the yeah there she is. Is that Alicia's head? There he is. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Yay. Okay, so let me show you her site too. So we're doing this for for Elaine and her good yes. friend. Yes, and and Sherry just upgraded her website. So I don't. I believe it'll be up and running in a couple of days. So she she did a big you know turnover on updating and everything. So I think yeah. it's up now. Look at those soaps. So yeah. Pretty. Yeah. So let me know in the chat if you have ever. Let me know if you're allergic to bees, uh -huh. but you you can still have honey and all the yummy stuff from honey, right? Yeah, yeah, you Even can. If you're allergic so, to what bees. do you think about yeah. slathering honey butter and wax on your body? What do you think of that when you think of putting that on you? I don't know. Mm -hmm. The way you say it, you're mm -hmm. like, let me rub you down with wax, <laughs> wax on, <laughs> wax off. Um, okay, wax so, on. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> amazing i love it you so love the beeswax use, well yeah because okay. it's kind of like a natural band-aid so um <laughs> it depends on how much beeswax you put in a product but um she uses a little bit of it and uh it's nice because it is like i said it's like a natural band-aid yeah she uses essential oils and um she likes using more of the natural stuff that doesn't leak parabens and stuff into your body so, right yeah and this yeah. is we're gonna give this one away mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so we're gonna do this giveaway we're gonna give away this shuggy bees is it lotion or is it the that is a body butter so it's body oil butter. based it's not water based and it smells so like it's a lavender something lemon, in lavender lemon Ooh. and lavender that's one of and then a little sellers. soap yes yes she, she does all of her own handmade soaps body butters lotions she does chapsticks bath bombs Let's see her shower steamers that okay. she came out with are so cold. Okay. I want to, yes. you said you're going to wax me on. Okay. Okay. Wait, okay. that's not a weird, you're going to wax on I'm like a Mr. Miyagi, right? Yeah. Now. Okay. Miyagi. Okay. <laughs> okay. Miyagi, so Miyagi. We're going to start with the portable body butter solid lotion bar, which is awesome <laughs> to put in your purse. It's got like a little 
prank up there. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, lavender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, that smells so, good. Yeah. Am so, I eating all the stuff? I'm gonna smell like. A rainbow of fruit flavors well, when we're done. I, I, I got two hands too. Okay. So look, wax on. It's I so easy, hands. so you're not getting your fingers and I all got honey. Hands. Oh, it's yeah. invisible. Yeah, I know. I was smell. trying to see the shine. Smell it. <laughs> Let me smell it. No, it feels good. Let me rub it in. So okay. you were saying this one, like it's it doesn't absorb as quickly as the other one. Right. So being that it's an oil base, it's gonna stay on there a little bit thicker. But you know what? I longer. think this would be nice if, if like cold weather or if it's really dry because mm -hmm. it kind of gives you that protective layer. It does. Protective awesome. layer. Or at night. I use it at night. Oh and yeah. In the, mar in the morning time, I'm still in the morning. Is in that the what morning you're gonna say time. in the morning? <laughs> I heard it. It was coming. Her Irish brogue was coming out. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay. Stop smelling right. balls, y'all. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> if you're gonna smell balls, you gotta share and let them smell too. Okay. It's a yeah. Yeah. balls it's a, with a tool on it. All right. It's, ball. it's a bath bomb. Yes. It's okay. Bomb. And is it flowers in there? Yes. It looks like rose petals. That smells really yeah. nice. I wish yeah. I could smell this. That's the only problem we have with this. Okay. Yes, and like when you walk into her studio, her studio is gorgeous. Uh, I'll show you some pictures of her studio. Yeah. It just, it smells amazing. It smells so refreshing, all the botanicals and the oils in there. It's it's nice. You like actually walk out smelling better than you did when you walked, walked in. So. I'm looking in the chat real quick. The hoodie we got here. Immortal Hourglass. Hey. That's quite a name. I like yeah. that. Mm. I see. <laughs> to me. Oh, I, I know I got your name right last time. No, Tamise, I think I said it right. Beeswax is awesome. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry if I mi missed chat stuff. Hello from South Wales. Yeah, great for elbows and feet for yes. sure. Like I like to get it and like stick and then I put it on my feet and then I put it on socks. Oh yeah. And like a layer and just kind of yeah. like seal it in there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On yeah. your heels of your feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you do it in bed or do you do it when you're going out? Cause in your feet are like slip sliding in the, in the slots. I like using the body yeah. butter and the <clears throat> solid lotion bars at mm. night. Now, unless I'm in the car, oh, like okay, good. in the car, she says it has rose petals and it has CBD. Well, thank you so Ooh, much. Cause I'm like, yeah. I don't know what it has. Uh, CBD yeah. oil. She started carrying a lot of products doing CBD. That's oil. the like relaxing stuff. It's mm -hmm. not going to get me high, right? No, no, no. So it's, it's not the, um, doesn't THC. have the, the, the yeah. No, okay. Doesn't have any of that in there. Well, yeah. let me know when you get so. some of that. No I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. None of that psychoactive stuff. Psychoactive. We, got, we, we got plenty of that over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, Julie yeah. says, uh, "Ooh, I love bees. I make jewelry with my lampwork glass bee beads. Ooh, I, Ooh, I want to see that. Yeah. To see that. That would be really That'd pretty. Be nice. Oh, yeah. Hello. Nice. Okay. Ready? So, I say ready. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just show you a little bit of a card that she made. This oh, is oh, her logo, so you'll recognize her products with this logo here. Um, so the bee logo is artwork done by her son Clint. Clint drew a scribble drawing on a sheet of paper while he was in the hospital." He was diagnosed with terminal cancer, T-cell leukemia, and we used our son's drawing to make our logo. Now his memory is honored with this happy, bright, and colorful bee in okay. memory of Clinton. Oh, so right, that's the, the logo. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's how you recognize her. Ta-da. Okay. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Awesome sauce. Oh, so you can see a picture of her extracting her own honey, too. You haven't done that part yet. We're doing it this year. This year. Oh yeah. When you say we, who do you mean? Not me and Zach. So oh, okay. Because yeah, I have a we partner. or like the royal. Oh we. yeah. Walk in an extra suit and go with me. No. Okay. <laughs> no. That's a hard no. Okay. So next we've got this is another solid lotion. lotion. Mm -hmm. okay. This is a, just a bigger portion here, but it's like a roll-on kind of thing. So it's magical. You really need it. Great for lips. Everything. Ha! Yeah. I did it. Mm -hmm. All right, so there we go. This one is lavender. lavender. <sighs> Y'all, I wish I could smell this for real. Here, ready, set, smell. Smell harder. So roll it on that elbow. Smell it. Okay, I'm elbowing you. All right, is that enough or more? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks great. You got it? Yeah, I got that it. Good? That's great. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> the arm. That's nice. Down there. Oh, wait. No. Oh, yeah. Now, see, see that? <laughs> Have wonderful elbows now. Yes. No, this smells really, really good. Okay. All right. So that's the next one. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is okay for lips too and the facial area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. 
-hmm. All right, ready for the next one? Yes. Totally. All right, do it to it. Okay, so we have got the lotion, which is water-based. So mm -hmm. that's going to absorb in quicker, and it's not going to have that a long as lasting effect. But some people don't want all that oil on them, so you know, it just depends. This one is tranquility. Oh my gosh, bro, just pour it on me, <laughs> all of it. <laughs> just douse me in it. There you go. What is that? Oh, that smells great. No, for real. What's in there? That's like. Sniff, what, what does it remind you of? Um, like a little bit of citrus. Mm -hmm. Citrusy. And I don't know. I can't. I can't. Tell me, Sherry. It's something citrusy and something. I'm trying to cheat. What's in there? It rubs the lotion on your body. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, you know, um, you know, you just put a dab there and sniff it all day. Hmm. So I can figure it out what it is. <laughs> Help me out here, Sherry. <laughs> it looks like you're bleaching your upper lip. I'm removing my mustache. Your mustache. <laughs> yeah. It's a milk mustache. What was that? There we go. How's it mm. smell? That's good. Okay, it's okay, like okay, you okay, said, okay. it's a little citrusy in there too. I'm reading it, I'm reading it, I'm reading it. Here we go. Uh, so ingredients. Tell us the ingredients. On all there. of them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so people know what's in there. Oh, there is grapefruit. Ha ha. Mm. Okay, <laughs> it puts the lotion in the basket. <laughs> All right, almond oil, avocado oil, steric acid, acid, emulsifying wax, shea butter, distilled water, fino nip. That sounds about right. Fino nip, wildflower honey, clary sage, grapefruit, and cedarwood essential oil. I bet the cedarwood mm. is the other one that I'm smelling. Cedarwood. Yeah, mm. that one smells really good. It's kind of sweet. It's kind of got a sweet and citrusy flavor. Like mm -hmm. I'm really, really picky about my flavors. I mean, my my scents. So I like things to be really like lightly floral. Yeah, or, this is real or citrusy. Light. This yeah. is light. It's not, and it doesn't smell. Boop. I don't know how to explain it. You know how sometimes even natural stuff has like a chemical. Chemically, chemically yeah. Kind of, that's not like that at all. It doesn't. Very, it doesn't smell like like or like orange number three. It doesn't smell like fake yeah. smell. Like when watermelon, there's watermelon smell. You know, or watermelon flavor, or, like, yeah. or real watermelon, you know what I mean? Or blueberry flavor. Because it's just subtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, what's the name? Uh oh. So, oh, oh, she was asking which which uh, one okay. it was. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> we got it. We got mm -hmm. it. Oh, to, oh my, I know, Julie, my sister's here. Never leave. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so now you got a big one of tranquility. That's tranquility. what she said. Okay. Now we got a big one. And that's what I'm talking this one about. This here is okay. I can't make it work. Just just so you know, it's not a food product, y'all. Just because there's honey in there, don't eat okay? it. Okay. <gasps> this is a big one of yeah. the tranquility mm -hmm. lotion. The big one. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. Support. Now this one is sultry black Ooh. jasmine. Ooh la la. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies. <laughs> Let's try this one now. <laughs> I hope they know what they're. Rub it. I, I hope they rub know it. what they're talking about. Rub it on there. Why am I doing it like this? Why'd you unscrew on my it? On my biceps. <laughs> Ooh. Why didn't I pump it? I don't know. Pump it. Well, <laughs> no, no. Pump it. No. <laughs> oh. oh. That looks like a bird flew over, but that's okay. <laughs> But you see how it's 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 a little bit thinner. It's, yeah, it just kind of soaks I'm right in. This one, my hands are covered in the other it's one. Though. I don't want to mix it. Oh, it is. Mm. Smell. It's more of a warming, spicy scent. It's still really a relaxing smell, though. Mm -hmm. Sultry black because it has a hidden jasmine under undertone. In yeah, there. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um. What's the other we scent? should have got some like model men to come here and rub the lotion on us. That would have been like, yes, put it there. I mm, the little to know, the left. Yeah. Yeah. We should have had some volunteers come rub the lotion on us. Why didn't we think about that? Well, when you ask for volunteers, you never know what you're going to get. <sighs> <laughs> We're the backup dancers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, sorry if I'm just saying hey to you in the chat. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming. All right. Yes, totally. They're so, it's so nice. So okay, the, what are we the, now? let me let y'all know what's in the black sultry jasmine. Now, there's actual bee pollen in here, too. 
By the way, you left some bee pollen in my fridge. I have it downstairs. Oh, cool. Yeah. Did you know that bee pollen has all the essential amino acids the human body needs? Okay, fact for today. There you go. (laughs) Yes, so there you go. Okay. Um, It does have essential oils in it. Yeah. So I don't know which ones, but yeah, it's got it in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then um, the bath bomb, like we said before, she does a lot of different bath bombs. Um, every scent you can think of, she does the shower steamers, which are a little bit bigger, and you can break off pieces and just throw them in your shower, like not directly underneath the stream, but off to the side. And so when winter was having congestions, I just stuck oh, one of the eucalyptus, one, eucalyptus mm. ones in there, cleared it right up. Does she? Do you do anything with tea tree? Yes. I like yes, the she does teach you. Mm-hmm. Okay. All um, right. I bet Matthew McConaughey could satisfy your list needs. He does. You know what, too, Jenny? I found out when we took the train in the other day. He does like, you know when you get on a train or a bus or whatever, and they're like telling you all the rules of the train? We're sitting there on the train, and all of a sudden, Matthew McConaughey's voice comes over and is like, hey, <laughs> don't leave your food or drinks on the train. And if you see something weird, and it's like Matthew McConaughey giving all the like train warning, like, and he, yeah, and apparently he does the emergency broadcast system in Austin too. So if there's like some emergency, like wow. he, it's his voice giving the emergency. Hey, Austin, don't want to freak you out, but <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. down. Here comes a tornado. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should just call him up on a whim. So, yeah, hey, you're you know, Round Rock's not that far from Austin. Nose you know? are free. Mm-hmm. Nose are free. That's that's you mm-hmm. know what I mean. The you, worst they can say is no. That's right. It's, it's the answer is no until you ask. Right. We should. And then it might still be no. But I'm gonna call him. You know what? You know when I used to write poetry, I sent my poetry to like really popular magazines because I was like, I'd rather get a rejection from the Atlantic than a rejection from Seventeen magazine. Yeah. Because I'm probably gonna get it rejected either way. But <laughs> but I, at least I had a rejection from the Atlantic. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but look how many of the Train famous day. people that had to ask <laughs> 200 different ways and finally got a yes. Somebody's going to say yes. Look That's how many right. people there are in the world, right? That's right. We can start with Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, we'll work our way down from there. Yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> and the one yeah. with Chris Farley. Oh, oh yeah. we know he oh, passed wait, right yeah. now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll yeah. end up with... Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Y'all mm-hmm. got any suggestions? Yeah. Who would you like to see rub lotion on a lane? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jim Carrey, where are you? We, oh. need, we, we need a double-time fireman bill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can fire him bill with awesome. him. <laughs> yeah. This is what happens when you... <laughs> do the teeth. Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Nelson. <laughs> Willie Nelson. There we go. I'll Oops, probably ask you. Yeah. Yeah. Willie Nelson. Do it. He would he would probably do the CBD oil though. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I was so, watching something with Snoop Dogg and and he said that Willie Nelson was the only one who ever outsmoked him. I believe it. <laughs> he was on Willie's bus or something, and I believe it. He had to he had to take a break. Wow. <laughs> I know. Oh Willie. Yep. Yep. Okay, we're gonna do this giveaway. Sure. Let's do it. Oh, we gotta come up with a question that they answer. Do should they be live to win? <sighs> That'd be kind of cool. And they have I to think answer so, the question. They chimed in and they're here. And they're here. Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> should um, we make it about something like this or should we make it about something that they know about us from the past? And they would have had to know who we are and know some of the things we've talked about before. I like that better. Because or is if, that, we, if we ask a, a, a fact, they can just Google it. You Google know? it. Okay. Yeah. How so. No. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Do y'all folks remember? You want to go with that? <laughs> okay, do it, do it, do it. We'll see who says it first, though, okay. and then they'll win. But then they had to have been member, you know, coming by for quite a while. That's to true. Know this. So this is if true. you're kind of new, you may not know. Uh oh. Is that fair? So, how many people here are new? I don't know. A few people. Some of them know already. Okay, let's just go with it. What is the famous outfit? I'm going to dress my sister in. Y'all remember? <laughs> we'll see. I'm waiting in the chat. 
Da -na 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 -na. I don't know what she says. All right. What is it that Elaine wants to dress me in? And we're going to go out thrifting. There it is. Oh, oh Julie got yes. it. Cat lady. Yes, robe with the cats on it. Cat suit. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Y'all are so awesome. <laughs> Cat lady. Oh my gosh, y'all are so awesome. Yes, let's, Julie. Let's do two giveaways then. Two giveaways? Yes. Okay. Let's do one that for, for one that we had today. So it's fair for others. Okay. 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 Well, what are we giving away? What's the other one? You want to do a bar? Mm -hmm. You yeah. want to do the bomb? Well, are y'all gonna want the stuff that we already rubbed ourselves with? Probably Depends not. on who you ask. <laughs> uh, don't ask Dan. Yeah. Because then the answer will be rub it some more <laughs> and on your feet and then send it to me. <laughs> Maybe a little in the pit. No I'm kidding. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's do the um, bath bomb since we didn't okay. rub it all over ourselves. Yes. Okay. I only sniffed it. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Good question. Mm -hmm. What's a good question we could ask? Something that somebody can answer that's here. Okay. That's new. Yes. Okay. And I don't know. Pull my finger. <laughs> What? Okay. I don't know. Uh, How are they going to do it? Uh, okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay. What? Uh, something somebody could. That we talked about on the video right now or just generally in the last three days? No, no. Then somebody that was here that maybe is like, I'm new here. I don't know who you are and what you're talking about. What's oh. this? What's this? Should okay. Okay. So. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got one, got one. Ready? Yeah. There you go. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Is that a good one? Yes, you go for it. Okay, here we go. Where did Sherry get the artwork for her logo? There. That's a good one. What's Sherry's grandma's name? Mary? Shuggy. <laughs> we didn't say that, did we? Okay, who did the artwork for the logo to win the bath bomb? Catherine, you got uh, yes, it. Yes, you did. Yes, yes. Oh, <clears throat> yay. Very okay. Good. Very Make good. sure you guys message me, Julie and Catherine. Either send me a, an email on texasgaltreasures at gmail.com or on Facebook, and I'll get your address and I'll send these over to you. Yay. <laughs> and I'm just going to show you some pictures of her studio that she sent yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. So I think y'all will enjoy seeing it. I know it's on my phone and it's not the best, but um, let's see it. It's not so good in here now. Oh, you said it's not super good in uh -huh. there. It does because mm -hmm. she does all the soap. She does all the lotion. She does chapsticks. Let and me show you I have display. her... Um, Pardon me. Her website is right in the first line, so you guys can check it out. So definitely go check that out. Oh, citrus foot soak. That sounds good, too. Mm -hmm. Peppermint foot mm -hmm. soak. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So how are your bees doing? All right. Good, good. Um, mm -hmm. Did a rescue on a colony because somebody cut down some trees and the bees had nowhere to go. So mm -hmm. got them hived up, got them fed, and... They are rocking and rolling. So how many of you guys in the chat are have be, have kept bees or maybe you're thinking? I know a few or people thinking are thinking about, about keeping bees. Yeah. yeah. So Sherry is a member of the Texas Hill Country Beekeepers Association, and we're yeah. very educational-based. Yeah. Um, but she's been keeping bees for, gosh, how many years now, Sherry, have you been keeping bees? Let's see. I met you when winter was going on, too. So I think you were doing that two years before. Southern Blue Skies has bees. Peterson's Ooh. allergic. Oh, oh. I love to. Yeah. Citrus. Uh, I'm not. It's Dan. Don't read it out loud. <laughs> don't. Don't do it. I see that. Hi, Danny. <laughs> I'm not, I started reading it and then I was like, mm, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I bet. <laughs> Sorry to whisper it for the rest Huck of her up. Danny boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything you'd recommend for MS? Okay, yeah, that's a Sherry question for sure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sherry, would you oh, have anything? Hey, oh, no. If I get stung. Oh, I see. Yeah, so you have yeah. a serious allergy. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. You, get, you get stung. 
And you yeah, swell but up. I do. I, I, I do you swell, but picture. it is like a, you know, see if you get which one. I don't know. I, I know you've sent me yeah. some with your like face all swollen when it got you on the face. Oh, yeah. I've, I've been stung on the face, near the nose, on the throat, near the, the eye, on the head, on the scalp, <clears throat> all over my arms, my hands. Um, I had to go to the fire station to get my ring cut off. And then I'm she's looking. over here. Not asking me how you're doing. Did you video it? Did you Please video it? Please don't use that on camera. I want to see it. <laughs> yeah. I know you're right. You're all right. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get... Come on. That's YouTube gold. I know. Swollen finger getting uh, sawn off. Well, uh, it only took one time to remember to take all of my hardware off before I go beekeeping. I'm um, looking. Yeah. If only my kids didn't send you all the gifts in the world. Mm -hmm. I might find it faster. But I have mm -hmm. all... So, Sherry, are you still in here? Let's see. I don't think it's, I'm going to be able to find it quick enough. I don't Darn know. it. Maybe what? not. Oh, well. I was was hoping. that the, where my finger was all crooked and so like big, or the one right here? On your, like, like I your had face. A quarter? Yeah, your face yeah, was like. I had a quarter right there. You could hit the quarter and it would just jiggle. Because all the venom was like in my neck sack. It was, it was very her neck weird. sack. Yeah, <laughs> your neck sack. That's what it looked like. It looked like a sack of venom hanging off my neck. It mm. was like, you know, I've been stung right here before, and it got <laughs> so numbed up. My lips got huge, and I couldn't move my mouth. I was like this, and I was just drooling on myself. It this was she's very delightful. beautiful. Mm. Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find. Oh no, winner's rash. Uh, yeah, no, no. But here, look at a cute kitten in a red hat. How about that? How about that instead? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> There's Jax. That's Jax. <laughs> okay, that'll cool. work. All right. Okay, so Sherry's still in. Mm -hmm. Um, so yes, if you do get stung, you scrape the stinger out. You do not pull the stinger out because there's a little venom sack on there. So if you squeeze the venom sack, you're injecting more venom into your sting. So scrape it with your nail or like a card or something like that. And since honey is very acidic, you can rub honey or lavender oil on the sting to help it, you know, the pain subside. Also with baking oh, soda, toothpaste, you know, things like that. Um, Sherry, do you have any recommendations for MS? I don't know if you're referring to Appy therapy for bee sting therapy when it comes to MS, or are you talking about Sherry's products? And Sherry, remind me and everybody here where Shuggy, your name Shuggy, came about. Shuggy. So I'll let her tell us about that. That was her grandma. She says she's checking, checking on, on the MS one. thing. Okay, mm -hmm. cool, cool. And then yeah. tomorrow, you guys who are here while we're waiting for the other stuff, I got something that I was gonna open. I'm gonna open it. It's like that. It's like that big, and so I'm gonna open it <laughs> tomorrow. Ah! Okay, there she goes. Okay, products. I don't want. Oh, she says products. I don't want bees. To, the bees to die. I think for the therapy. You oh, know? oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. But yeah, I have some thread up stuff. I, I am. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, Shuggy, Shuggy. Well, I know it's your, your your grandma's name, but how did you inherit that? So, for people who don't know, does she want to share? Is yeah. it like, is it, or is it like a private no. story? I don't think it's, it's a like, private story, but she's saying in parentheses, honey. Like, so I, I'll let you explain that, but yeah. Or give the safe word if you want me to like take her out because she's like sharing too much information. That you're like, that's not what I want to do. Yeah. 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 Whatever. Yeah. Let's see. Has Margaret ever found some amber? Oh, wait. Is it... No. Would no. it be in it? No. no. Boy, that would be worth some money if I did. I would like that a lot. You would. Do you know how much that would go for? Like if it was true. Yeah. Amber. Oh, really? I mean, don't they sell a lot of stuff like that with the mosquitoes and stuff? Oh, like yeah. That? But half of that, more than yeah. half of that stuff is like repurposed and like oh, like okay. injected in there. It's like reconstituted amber and they've, they've put a bug in there. Uh, like ones that are truly, truly old. Because that's like millions of years, like true amber is yes. like millions of years old. If you got like real true amber with some sort with of inclusion, a bee, yeah. a bee, I mean like a fully formed bee, I mean you're talking major bank. 
Probably thousands, probably. I'm, I'm, I'm not even. Well, if any of y'all should feel <laughs> that you need to donate, you I them, will gladly definitely. wear that for you. <laughs> I would definitely wear that for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you find mm -hmm. one and somebody's selling it for, because I mean, just regular amber, even reconstituted amber, you can sell a necklace for 60, 80, 100 bucks. Wow. You know? And I like amber. Yeah. A lot. So if you had one with an inclusion that was a true, true, not like, Sliced and diced and yeah. reformed um, with it in there. With it just heavily processed, what do they do? Take multiple amber and melt it down together? and Yeah, like I mean, they, and they do that, you know, when they make a an amber, and we're off topic here, but like let's say they take a piece of amber and they carve something to make a necklace or whatever, and then there's all the little bits that they carved off. Well, they'll take that, reheat it up, and like reconstitute it together. Okay. And so like you'll see these little like they look like almost little sunbursts in the in the in there. And so that's from that like water getting trapped uh, from reconstituting it. Um but it's gotcha. I mean it's fine, but if, as long as you know that's what you're getting. I'd have to wear an eyepiece. Yeah, I walk around with an eyepiece. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. But I can tell you the active ingredient in honey is <clears throat> ding, ding 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 ding, here it comes. Hydrogen peroxide. Is that right? Yes. Yes. So when people say it's antimicrobial, antibacterial, it's not so much the, the pollen that you think is inside the honey, it's the hydrogen peroxide. Do you want to know ah. where the hydrogen peroxide comes from? Where? Well, the bee has two stomachs. So when the bee goes and collects nectar and she comes back to the hive, she will take the nectar from her second stomach and regurgitate it into the honeycomb cells. Well, as it got, passes through the honey stomachs, there's an enzyme in her stomach that mixes with the nectar, and that's how it makes hydrogen peroxide. Huh. And that's what you're eating is honey bee throw up. Mm. <laughs> Yum. It's so delicious. I love throw up from honey bees. It's so delicious. <laughs> uh, it is. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. I guess I could so. It had to come from somewhere. Yeah. You know? I mean, where else are they going to pack it besides the pollen? You know? But anyway. There you go. All right, Peterson's saying, is your sword close by? Because then Elaine should watch out. My sword, no. My sword. Just, what? Why are you giving her ideas? Sword. Like I my know sword. you have a samurai sword or something I don't know about? Well, maybe. You got those swords from the yeah. Sherwood Fair. And then we have the swords that we made, the swords at the thing. Oh, no, those yeah. are put up. Those are put up, yeah. And I know Ju where those are at. <laughs> Julie's asking, are you selling your wind chimes? Um, not yet, but I did open up an Etsy store and I'm still building the product and I will be opening it probably this summer. Yay! That's what yeah. I'm doing. So I'm making a whole bunch of inventory so I don't wind up with like five things on there. So yeah. Yeah, this one. Yeah, wise. so I'm doing the sun catchers and you gotta fill up the first yeah, page at least. Yeah. That's so like, yeah, this summer and then I'll share yeah. I'll share with you guys what it is. But um <sighs> Yes, yeah. bee sting therapy for MS. Um it, you know, I don't want to give medical advice, but I've heard that it has helped some other people and a lot with people that have inflammation in their joints. So people with arthritis as well, but you could definitely look into that and um, see what you hear back. But I've heard a lot of stories from the apotherapy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really, I, I couldn't honestly tell you directly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, turtle trader. Hi, turtle. Okay, we gotta so, call this. We gotta get these. Yeah. Our kids are still awake. Yeah, they are. We gotta put them to bed. So, anybody have any questions for Shiggy yeah. before we sign off? Mm -hmm. Anything? Um. What? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I would not do anything to her. I what? Am, I am all for watching out for murder. <laughs> she can't go to jail for murder. The people need a link. Okay, I don't understand it fully. All I see are my wrinkles. What wrinkles? Because I'm so happy. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So, anything you want to say, Shugs? And then we'll, we'll call before it. We, before we get off. And go over there, y'all. Hit the thumbs up. And I know, I, I always, well, I don't always forget to say it, but. I lately haven't been saying it as much, but come follow me on Facebook. I'm Texas Gal Treasures on Facebook and Texas Gal Treasures on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And Shiggy Bees has, you know, on Instagram and Facebook as well. So you can go find yes. Shiggy Bees 
on Instagram and Facebook as well. Mm -hmm. That's so mm -hmm. cool. Definitely. She, she works a lot of local different farmers markets and she has her water. stuff in retail stores. Yeah. She's drinking water. Gotta stay hydrated. Agua. So, um, there you have it. There we have it. And, okay. Um, I'm so glad to see everybody. Sorry I haven't <sighs> been here, but. Oh, somebody at the, we were at the, we went to the Sherwood Forest Fair this weekend. Oh, yeah. And I mentioned to somebody that was all in character, full on. The guy behind us getting the pineapple ice cream. Oh, yeah. And I mentioned you were, you keep bees. And he was like, so she's a mead maker. Because he was like, <laughs> yeah. he was not breaking character for anything. <laughs> we like the mead makers. I'm like, okay. <laughs> mead. I'm in the need for some mead. I'm in the need for mead. No, yeah, I don't ferment honey, but I heard it's good. We in fact, some. yeah, well, yeah, Randy bought that Wahia. If y'all get a hold of honey, Wahia honey and sage honey is up there with the Tupelo. I love the Tupelo. Yeah, so Tupelo doesn't crystallize, oh, so but Wahia honey and sage honey are a very light honey, but it's not as acidic and it doesn't give you the burn on the throat, and it's very sweet. It's a very light honey. If you can find that, get it. It's good. Yes. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yes. Um, you too, Dream Weaver. Good to see you too. <laughs> okay. uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. All right. I pet your hair. I, I need a hairbrush. It's fine. I'll work on it sometime. We're number one in France three out three oh three out of four years ago. Out of Uvalde. Nice. Wow. Nice. I'm not gonna. Is that for real? Is that something I? Okay, manuka not? honey is from Australia because it's collected off the tea tree, um, oil trees. So you it's know, pricey. a lot. Oh, it is pricey because people are, you know, getting it for the medicinal value, and people use it in hospitals for wound dressings. Yeah. The manuka honey because it has a higher antibacterial um, and antimicrobial. What? Look at that. Hey, cake. cake. He just attacked Leia big Whoa. time. Yeah. Hey Lydia! Lady Look Lydia! Lydia. <laughs> Lydia, Lydia! Okay, should we sing it out? Mm. Oh, brother. It's still Here we go. La, 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 la. Ready? Lady. Lydia. Lydia. <laughs> They're gonna sing it? I don't know. What's what? the song? You what know this it? song, the I Lydia do. song. You don't know oh, it? Oh, I forgot it. Oh, oh my gosh. Just, ready? I just well, let's sing, sing it. it out. We'll sing it out. Okay, I'm just gonna follow along. Ready? Lydia, oh Lydia, say have you met Lydia? <laughs> Lydia the tattoo lady. She's got eyes that men adore so, and a torso even more so. Lydia, oh Lydia, that encyclopedia. Oh Lydia, the queen of tattoo. On her back is the Battle of Waterloo. Beside it's the wreck of the Hesperus too. And proudly above waves the red, white, and blue. You can learn a lot from Lydia. Did you shave? La, oh, la, no. la. <laughs> la la la. I'm La la la. I forgot la, la. my razor. Come on, <laughs> Steve Buffalo <laughs> Bill with his lasso. A little classic by Mendel Picasso. Here's Captain Spaulding exploring the Amazon. Here's Godiva, but with her pajamas on. La la la. La la la. Okay, okay, okay. I just know Lady Lydia. <laughs> <Lydia. sighs> oh, did I tell okay. you I'm going to get a tattoo? No. Yes, I am. I am. I haven't decided exactly what all entails it, but it's going to be rather large. <laughs> there you go. Okay. okay. Like, like it's where, where, have where are you going to put it? Well, I'm going to put it probably back here and have it come over, wrap around my arm. Not a full sleeve. Okay. But Can I'm going to envision? It's going to be geometric honeybee related with some okay. floral stuff in there. Okay. Maybe a moon or something of that sort mm -hmm. and a hidden message. I will know unless I tell you. You're going to tell me? I'm going to tell you. Oh, okay. Yay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to tell everybody. But once I get it done, I'll show it to you. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, we ready? What does it say? She says. Oh no, we're just having water. <laughs> I know. <laughs> just, 
I, I didn't come fully packed. I forgot my razor. I need to wash my hair. I haven't brushed it. It's just, that's okay. Y'all can't smell me anyway. <sighs> you yeah. smell that lotion. That's, I wish it covered it all. Mm. It doesn't cover it all. You love me, right? I love you. <laughs> Stink it all. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get these boys to bed. Okay. And we'll talk so, to you guys so later. Yeah. Yes. Thanks for listening to us. Thanks for um, listening and hanging out. Yes. Miss you guys. Yes, me too. Because I know it's been a bit. But we'll yeah. we'll talk to Hi, Gabby. We'll just like, we'll have some coffee talk and mm -hmm. we'll like take care of all the business later. Hi, Faye. Bye, Dan. <laughs> Bye, Dan. Good night. Bye, Catherine. Tuck, tucking you in. <laughs> night, night. Night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Your hair is killing me. Oh my God. <laughs> well, I'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> J.M. Seiple. <laughs>